Hey guys, it's Bella from Bella's Toy Trust. I went a little bit um, early today. Um, so, I am doing a um, CAS unboxing of stuff that I bought, uh, part two. So, hi Robert. Let's see who's uh, logging on to watch. So I can go ahead and start showing the stuff that I got from CAS and what the grades are. Hello, Julio. Hello, John. Okay, so there's people on, so I'm going to start showing what I got from CAS. Hi, Michael. Um, this is the stuff that I picked up, and it was in my haul. Um, I am a huge Star Wars fan, and you're about to find out the stuff that I picked up. Um, this isn't everything that I got from CES. This is just part two. Um, so, I got the um, Star Wars Empire Strikes Back uh, Loombot, Revenge of the Jedi. My dogs are fighting each other. Horrible. So I got this. Um, this was Archive because it was actually missing the weapon at the bottom. I guess it fell out. I'm not quite sure. And then this is really cool. This is a Wampa graded at an 80. Um, getting graded stuff is definitely expensive, but I mean, it depends on what you paid for the figure. Um, I like to get my stuff graded because as you can see, look how nice this is. This is a loose wampa. And it definitely looks better graded than it does out of, you know, not graded. Yes, I did watch Mandalorian last night. I know he's not called Baby Yoda, but oh my god. Hasbro definitely should have made a figure on that one before putting this show out. Um, he's so cute. Yeah, I definitely liked him. And then over here, I got a uh, 2-1-B. This is also a Revenge of the Jedi sticker from Empire Strikes Back. This got a 70. I know it's not Little Yoda, but... Or Baby Yoda. He's just really cute. It's actually one of my favorite... Um, I get these graded by driving all the way down to West Palm Beach, which is uh, five hours from my house. This is a Roomba, um, graded at 80. And this is the Power of the Force one. Could be Yoda Jr. Oh. A black Wampa exists? I have never seen one. I mean, I have a lot of rare figures. Well, not, like, super rare, but I've never seen a black wampa, which would be amazing to find. And then I get this tri-logo brown snake Yoda. Um, CAS does 24 hours. They do not do the same day, which I've never done it, and it definitely costs a lot of money. This is graded at a 75. Look at Yoda. They definitely should have put it out, a little Yoda. This is one of my favorite pieces. Um, hi, Simply Incredibly Incredible Podcast. This is a exploded Darth Vader without the cape. I thought it looked better without the cape. I got this graded for, uh, it was a 75. Yeah. I definitely agree that these look better this way than they do any other way. Because look at, look, look at this exploded. You see that? Darth Vader. Now, if you had this loose, just hanging out, you definitely wouldn't, I mean, you wouldn't be able to see how awesome this is. Look at the head. Hi, Funko Nerd Shark. Look at that. This one is my all-time favorite piece. And then I got, an, I got a lot of the Revenge of the Jedi stickers. Yeah, hey, Michael, if you take a ride down to CAS, Talk to Ken. He's really cool. I got this graded at 80. It was a very long drive. Oh my god. 
I was like falling asleep. I definitely, yeah. Uh, hi, Jamie. Um, my toy hunting today, it went pretty good. It's freezing. Well, where I live, it's like 55 degrees. <laughs> it's not really that cold, but to me, I was freezing. And then this is a Return of the Jedi, Lando Carson, with 80 plus. And I think he's smiling. Yeah, you could see that. He's smiling. I have so many, like, yeah, it is definitely cold. Yeah, Julio, I know the rocket firing Bubba Fett is the rarest. I definitely don't have that. Um, still working on it. I probably will never have that one. <laughs> I know it just sold at auction for, oh, a lot of money. Um, this poor, poor, uh, low gray with the Anakin Walker sticker, he graded out at 40. Sometimes it's not about the, I mean, it's the condition, but even though I, I still like it graded. I mean, look at this thick case. Look at that. Yeah, I know it sold for over $500,000. It's crazy. And then I got this graded at 75. Yeah, these are all vintage Star Wars figures carded and graded. They're from the 1970, like 1970s, seven through 85, I believe. They got so many. And then this is the Empire Strikes Back, like I said. The Revenge of the Jedi sticker. So it was supposed to be the Return of the Jedi, but they actually did, um, they wanted to do the Revenge of the Jedi and it sounded too, like, evil. So these stickers were supposed to say Reven or Return of the Jedi, not Revenge. So I got a lot of these. I wish they said Revenge of the Jedi up here. They would be worth a lot more. This is graded out at 70. And then another Revenge of the Jedi, graded out at a 70 plus. Yeah, um, definitely they don't, so when they grade these, they definitely don't put one out at a time. When they're all done being graded, then they sh they show you uh, your grades on their website. But I don't look because I like to be surprised too. Hi, Geeked Up Customs and Poppin' Off in Seattle. Revenge does sound better. Sounds more evil. <laughs> and then here is a Power of the Force coined Chewbacca. Um, I actually collect Black Series. I like hunting for them. Um, you know. A lot of them that they came out with, I go buy. This was graded at a 70 plus. Um, so, how much are these worth once graded? It depends on the grade. Definitely does. Um, I still have more over here that I want to show you. but So, I got this piece graded. Um, I think it cost me like $150 to get graded. But the items that I bought... What is my most expensive figure? I have a 1940s wooden Superman doll. Um, in the original box. So, that's my most expensive figure. Um, but my most expen expensive Star Wars figure is my graded sealed Millennium Falcon. So, this, so these, these are newer but I got this done. Look, look at this. So this was graded out at a 90 uncirculated. Look at that. And these were from Target. Um, so as you could tell, they definitely... They say retro on them, so you know that these are, um, 
The newer ones? No, I don't sell anything. I swear I want to, but then I never do. So this is the custom graded from CAS. Yeah, actually, the Superman that I bought um, was on an episode of Pawn Stars. I found the guy, and I ended up messaging him online, and he flew it to me from Arkansas. So it was definitely the... It was pretty cool. I met him, bought it. Oh, so a lot of people were asking me about the Robin that I, because I had the ideal 1966 um, Captain Action Batman. So this is the Captain Action Robin that was still packed away, and I told you I had it. They grade everything. Yeah. So condition is, hi Brandon, condition is everything. Like, they grade the, if it's sealed in the, in the figure, is sealed. Um, again, this is loose, so they grade every, like, they look at condition of every piece. This was graded out at an 80. I believe it would have got a better grade if the back of the cape wasn't so, uh, like, scuffed up and dirty, but try to find one of these. Complete. He was just sitting in my cabinet, and I got him graded. So this is Action Boy Robin. This one actually is my favorite one between that one and the Batman. And then I got something that... Uh, packaging matters for everything, yes. When they grade it, they grade the entire overall condition. Packaging is everything. Uh, the figure could be sealed, like, for example... This got a 40. Look how bad the packaging is. There's price ripped off here. There's stickers there. The top is crap. Look at the back. It's all wrinkled and, and bent. Um, the figure itself is really nice. I could have pulled it off the card and have them graded without it, but I mean, I like it better card anyway. Um, if I don't sell them, why pay to get them graded? So I like the way they look graded. Like I said, you you know, if you have something like that exploded Darth Vader, and how do you display it? It looks so much better graded. So, uh, to me, I don't have to sell something, you know, to get it graded. Yeah. Uh, Chris, I agree with you. I mean, look, doesn't this look better graded than just like thrown in a cabinet and all the accessories by it. Yeah. A lot of people agree it does look better um, graded. Um, what can I make myself? I mean, I can't... Uh, I can't really... I have a couple Lily Lady figures, which are the Ewoks. I don't have a lot. The display case. Yeah, no. Uh, tell me somebody who can make this display case. If you can make this display case, then you could grade all your figures. <laughs> this is hard. Yeah. I mean, I can't really even tie my own shoe half the time. My dogs are barking. Uh, thoughts on The Mandalorian? I liked it. Um, some say... Boba Fett wasn't even a Mandalorian. Agree, Brandon. This is better than Christmas. Uh, yeah, I agree, Brandon. They do look better. Like, for instance, uh, this is sealed. This is a Canadian 12-inch Boba Fett sealed. Um, where's the grade on this? Oh, all the way in the corner. This got graded at a 70 plus. So, this is sealed Canadian Boba Fett. Um, again, when you have it displayed, this is pretty, you know, it folds out. So, it looks so much better. And then here's the back. Do I agree with some of the grades I got? 
No. Some of the grades, I uh, question, but you know, I can't really, can't really say anything. They're the ones grading it, looking at it. Oh, that's cool. Uh, Gaming that you found the blue ones. I got those graded. That's in an episode that I did, like, on my YouTube channel. Um, deja vu. Um, okay, so yak faces are not that hard to find here. Uh, you can find them really anywhere here. Just a Simply Incredible podcast. I'm going to a convention in December in Lakeland. I'm pretty excited to go there, too. So, again... This is graded. Graded out at a 70. Looks so much better graded. That's just my opinion. Take it how you want it. And then I got this sealed in the box. IG88. Um, this one graded out at a 60 because if you can see, there's a hole in it. But it's still a 12 back IG88, which is, you know... Uh, I, I meant to say... Um, 12 inch, not 12 back, forgive me. IG88. Um, no, I do not go to conventions across the state. I just go to the ones where I live because they have a lot. Yeah, Chris, the IG88 was really hard to find. No, I'm not aware of the underground toys coming out in December. Um, I normally do go to MegaCon every year. And then I have a 12-inch Darth Vader sealed. And this was graded out at a 70 plus. This one's really cool. Um, I collect no Hot Toys figures, no. Um, yes, I was at the... Star Wars Galaxy Edge, I was there. Um, I posted a video on my YouTube channel of my whole experience there. I actually liked it. Simply Incredible Podcast. Yeah, Darth Vader is pretty cool, but I like the um, Canadian Boba Fett. Um, I love Disney. I go there any chance I get. A lot. Um, I think, you know, I always thought about opening up a toy store, but to be honest with you, um, I work a lot and I have so much stuff I'd be afraid somebody would, like, break in. Um, Geeked Up Customs. That's cool. Yeah, nobody invited me to go to that show, so if anybody's going to that show and it's invite only, feel free to invite me. I'll be there. <laughs> um... I have more Star Wars figures. I just wanted to show that Robin. L let me show that Robin one more time. In case people missed it. L look at this Robin. Yeah. This is pretty cool. I mean, it has everything. They took the time to do everything. Do I wish that they made more alien creatures? Yeah, I actually love the... Um, Aliens. I have quite a few of them. I have one sealed graded from 1979, but I got that graded a long time ago from AFA um, before I had a YouTube channel. Okay. So, again, this is a Revenge of the Jedi. Um, oh, I have tons of gremlins. I love them things. Spike is my favorite. Just kidding. I love Gizmo. Uh, do I collect a lot of Black Series? Mm. Do I still play with toys? Um, I do. My favorite is Ghostbusters, so everywhere I go, I find them. I talk to toys. I like playing with them. If they're cute, I tell them how cute they are. Like, so everybody was talking about the Mandalorian, so the little Yoda... He's absolutely adorable. Um, I swear, if my dog looked at me like that, I would never leave the house. Beans. Like, I would just stay home just to look at her little face. Because the way he looked at um, the Mandalorian Boba Fett was like, it was so cute. 
Okay. So I got this done. Graded at a 75. And it has a special offer thing on the back. So, there's so many different Star Wars figures. and Yeah, the Baby Yodas are definitely going to um, be the, you know, highly collectible. Brandon, do I have any Master of the Universe graded? Yes, I do. Um, I'll probably bring those out in my... Because I had to do three different segments. So this is my second one. The first one I did was like odds and ends stuff graded. And then this one's the Star Wars one. So I figured that I would go ahead and do the Star Wars ones because there was quite a few. And then my last one, or my next one that I'm going to do, probably um, next week or the week after, I'm going to go ahead and do um, my Masters of the Universe and my other stuff. I got uh, a really cool Scare Glow done. Um... I have a couple of the Super 7s, Masters of the Universe, but honestly, I like the um, older ones. Did I pre-order that Snake Mountain set? No. I seen it, but I'm going to get it. Um, bye. Thank you for joining me. Uh, Simply Incredible Podcast. What does my family think of my collecting? Um, my brother loves it. And that's pretty much all that matters. Um, I don't know. It's just a lot. Do I have Thundercats or Silverhawks? Uh, Thundercats I do, yes. But Silverhawks, no. So I got this. This is on the proof of purchase. I do not collect Japanese or anime figures. I collect a lot of Ultraman but, and Godzilla. But I don't collect. This was 80, graded at 85. Uh, what do I do for work? Um, I flip burgers at McDonald's. <laughs> uh, what I do for work, I like to um, keep private. What did I do to wash off the Mexican candy? I ate more. Oh, Geeked Up Customs. That would be awesome if you can give me an invite to... I'm a Mick Flipper. Um, that convention. I would definitely go if it's invite only. That'd be awesome. Um, so I have the ATST driver. Hello from the Philippines and Mexico. Hi, guys. Uh, this is graded at a 75. It's pretty cool. Actually, I hit 2,000 subscribers today. I mean... Uh, it's pretty exciting, right? Yeah. I mean, I was just, like, doing my daily Sunday stuff. And I was like, oh, I hit 2,000 subscribers. So, thank you, guys. Um, well, it's because of you guys that I definitely hit 2,000 subscribers. Uh, I'm Italian. Um, Brandon, I love McRibs. Well, come to my job, and I will make you one special. Anyway, I love working at McDonald's. It's fun. This is graded at a 70 plus. Uh, I'll definitely bring my purse if it's a big money show. Um, yeah, I, like someone just said, I definitely sell hats and t-shirts. Um, Christopher Fleming's. I got your 2000. Oh. So... Yeah, um, I sell hats and t-shirts on my website, uh, bellastoychest.com. Um, thank you. My logo was designed, um, with a couple different people. Um, but overall it was just, I wanted it to be me, um, with long hair because, you know, I have long hair. So I just wanted to represent something like that and red, you know, um, uh, do I have... Yes, I went to Star Wars Galaxy and made one of those fancy lightsabers. Uh, thank you, Julio. Yeah, I collect stuff I like. What's my favorite toy in my collection? Um, I know this sounds stupid, but I love Boo from Monsters, Inc. And I'm just like looking at her face. But I don't really have a favorite because I have so many. 
Um, I just, I have a lot of toys, lots of toys. I go to a lot of conventions and yard sales and flea markets. I'm always flea marketing and stuff like that. It's a lot of fun. It's what I do on my days off, which is on the weekend. Okay. I keep getting sidetracked because you guys are asking so many great questions. So I got this done. Another sticker, Revenge of the Jedi. It is graded at a 70. Um, I would definitely, if you don't grade stuff or you don't know anything about grading, um, I would definitely check out CAS's website. I used to get graded, um, I know, I'm sorry, anyway, CAS definitely, uh, does a great job. I used to go to AFA all the time, but I like CAS and now they promise like a 30 day turnaround on carded and boxed figures only. So if you guys want to check that out, you should. And I geeked up customs. You repaint paint figs and sell them. That's awesome. Um, I have no custom figures uh, painted or anything. Um, you know, I, I try to stick with the original stuff so people don't get confused with it. I feel like I should have like my whole Star Wars room open just so I could show you guys, but that would be a long day. So this is a free Anakin Walker action figures. This is graded at a 70. And again, on the back, it has like different stuff. Um... Hey, South Down Paint. Thanks for joining my channel. Um, this is my second time going live on YouTube. I think the next time I go live, I'm going to be in one of my toy rooms. So you guys could ask questions about that. I'm not quite sure. I mean, again, my whole house is just toys everywhere. Um, I love collecting. How many different toy rooms do I have? Five. Um, and then this is graded at a 85. I have five different toy rooms. Yeah. I have toy, toys in my bedroom, my bathroom. I have a, a bathroom that's all Disney, um, big figs and, um, stuff like that. Um. Are the rooms designed by theme? Um, no. They're just... I just have stuff everywhere. I'm going to need a hotel. Yeah, that would be awesome. Um, no, not... Nope. Um, I do not have any kids, so um, they don't sleep in the closet. <laughs> that would be pretty sad. I'd probably, if I did have kids, they would probably have toys in their room, too. Uh, no, I cannot zoom in. Definitely, um, oh, Beans, oh yeah, Beans, um, she's a little upset right now, because I can't do a live video without her jumping all over me, so Grandma's watching her right now, um, and Grandma definitely, uh, falls asleep sometimes, so hopefully she don't fall asleep and let Beans go, <laughs> that'd be pretty funny. I can't believe it's crazy. I bring out all these toys and I get done showing them within 30 minutes. Um, I, you know, I would love to add beans to some of my videos cause I love her that much. I even have a necklace of her, but she would be like my main focus. Uh, this room does have toys. We're just sitting, you know, at my table, uh, any way you look like over here. I have Alice in Wonderland rare stuff up there on my ceilings. I have Alice in Wonderland, uh, Brandon beans. She's such a brat. Oh, that's cool. You have an old doll you call beanie jeans. I might no. I call her beanie beans or anything. Cause she's perfect. 
Uh, I don't know. I feel like next time I should have more stuff. You have the same dog, uh, Toy Yorkie. Oh. Shift the camera, LOL. Um, if I move the camera, you're just going to see all the stuff that I just put here. Did I buy Rise of the Skywalker toys? Um, did I? I can't remember. I buy so much stuff. I'm always out looking for stuff. Anything I find cool, I buy. Um, do I have Hot Wheels graded? No. But in my last video, I definitely had um, a Husky Batmobile boat and trailer graded. Um, no, not that Build-A-Figure. Uh, I'm trying to actually start getting into Build-A-Figures. Did I win the lottery? No. My weirdest toy I have? I have no idea. Yeah, I don't know. Um, selling is not one of my interests. Um, I don't want to sell. When I'm not working and I'm not doing videos, um, I'm out toy hunting. Mad balls? No. Um, uh, no, I do not have a significant other. I have my dogs. Um, a lot of people ask me that. Garbage pail kids? No, I don't have any of those. Hello from Rochester, New York. Um, I don't like any of the Star Wars statues. I don't collect statues. I feel like they'll break and I have no room to put them. Which is crazy. Where am I from? Sunny Florida. Which is actually chilly right now. A lot of people ask a lot of questions. I like it. It's crazy. See? Bone, you had a nice Batman statue and it broke. Your cat probably put it over, kicked it over. Pensacola. It's chilly everywhere. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I definitely agree. Uh, you're welcome. I like to answer the questions the best I can. The ones that seem to um, be appropriate. I told you the cat knocked it over. I don't have cats. I'm allergic to cats. Um, I don't... Oh, you're stationed in Pensacola. Um, yeah, I like getting, you know, I like people watching what I like to do. A lot of people think it's weird because I'm 29 and I collect vintage toys and people don't understand it. But people who know me personally know that I love to just buy it. I mean, other people spend their money on stuff and, you know, that's what I like to spend my money on. So... I know some people think it's weird, but it's really not. Yeah, it is an addiction. I can't remember the first toy I bought, which is sad. Oh, look, Pooh Bear's walking around. Do I collect Star Wars Black Series? Yes. Um, I definitely have a $6 million man, and I have Bionic Woman, and I have the Bigfoot, but my... Bigfoot was on top of my shelf and he fell over. I've been collecting for eight years and uh, my Bigfoot fell and uh, my dog ate his arms off. Pretty sad. Um, my favorite food. Um, am I going to be on hoarders? Um, I'm an organized hoarder. Again, people who know me and who I let come to my house, they understand. Uh, my favorite food right now, because it changes all the time, is passion fruit. Oh, this, this dog, he's always, Pooh Bear, come here. Look, <laughs> I 
Why do you always pop up here? Am I a vegan? No. I love eating. Anybody who knows me, I love all kinds of food. It's baby Chewbacca. Look, they call you Chewbacca because you're always up here acting crazy. No, this isn't beans. This is Pooh Bear. Oh, he's so bad. He does look like a little Ewok. He looks like a little Wookiee dog. I know, he's precious. But he always likes to interrupt my videos. I love all dogs. Every time I see a dog in public, I'm like, oh my god! Oh, there's more. How is his breath? Perfect, he's adorable. <coughs> now they're fighting. This could be fun. All right, guys. Um, again, I, I feel like I just never have enough stuff. And sometimes I feel like I have too much stuff. Does your dog chew on your toys? Yeah, uh, I just said that my Bigfoot fell from the ceiling or from the shelf and he ate his arms off. Um, so if anybody has any Bigfoot arms, I need them. Because Pooh Bear ate them. My dog's my best friend too. Pooh Bear. Um, are you connected to the toy community? Yes, a lot of people know me. A lot of people know who I am. I go to toy shows. I go to conventions. I like to dress up. A lot of people know me. Beans is barking. Um, other than that, I guess next time I'm going to have to bring more and more and more stuff. Because the stuff I brought was I thought was going to be like, you know, too much. Least favorite Star Wars toy line. Um, what do I cosplay as? Anything, really. I, w I went as Darth Baber. <laughs> um, so, I like to dress up. I was um, Batgirl at Comic-Con. I was Laura Croft from Tomb Raider. Um, I pretty much dress up. Darth Baber instead of Darth Vader, like Baber. It was cute. It's on one of my YouTube channels. Um, I never entered in cosplay conventions. Oh, I was um, Jason Voorhees. Um, sexy though, you know. I had blood everywhere. My shirt was ripped up. Anyway. Again, guys, I, I sometimes definitely should bring out more stuff that I got graded. I got tons of stuff graded, so. Um, my dogs are wandering around. So, we've been at this for about 40 minutes. Hello. Um, G1 Transformers, I have a lot. Um, that's a good idea to get Chewbacca arms and paint them gray, but then he wouldn't be original, but it did, you know, it sounds good. Hi, Rudy. Yes, I do have a Fortress Maximus. I will show in another segment of my YouTube when I go ahead and do that. I have basically all, pretty much all the, um... What do you call it? Uh, G1 Transformers. I do not have tickets to the new movie. Um, it seems pretty cool though, right? Masters of the Universe, I have tons. So, again guys, we've been at this for about 40 minutes. Um, can't believe I showed everything in 40 minutes. I'm going to have to like slow down and do it all over again. Excuse me. Um, again, uh, you guys have been great and... Um, I hate to cut it short, but, uh, I definitely have to get back to what I was doing. Um, let me know what you guys want to see, uh, and if there's anything that you guys haven't seen, I might have, I might do a live video on it. Um, I picked up this really cool, uh, Godzilla from the thrift store. 
Um, it's an RC Godzilla, so I'll be doing a segment on that. Um, I don't really know much about it, though. I've seen it. So. Uh, no, I don't charge anybody to take selfies with me. <laughs> uh, I'm not famous. I'm just a normal person that just collects toys. Yeah, that would be pretty funny. Um, hey, you want a selfie? Give me five dollars. No, I'm just kidding. That'd be horrible. I have tons of GI Joes and Transformers. Um, that's okay. Um, I don't speak English very well either. I stumble over my words all the time, and people always make fun of me and say I said it wrong or something. <coughs> How can you send me tons of cash? Um, my address is always on the bottom of every one of my links. Send away. I'm just kidding. I mean, it really is. People have sent me gifts. Um, will G.I. Joe make a return? I mean, I love G.I. Joes. I'm looking for a G.I. Joe nurse um, from the 60s. So, definitely, if anybody knows. Oh, my goodness. Hold on, guys. Here's beans. She... Look at beans. Yeah, I know there's something behind the curtains. It was my dogs. <laughs> oh, God. It's like a killer. Nope, it's beans. <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't do this live video and you guys talk about there's something behind you. I live in the woods, people. So, from Napoli. Sorry, I didn't see that. Uh, Pennywise is definitely not behind me. That would be terrifying. <laughs> you said there's something behind your curtain. It's Beans. Look at her. I can't deal with you. It's pretty funny. See? She interrupts every one of, every one of my videos. Yes, I, 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 I know. Isn't she adorable? Okay. Um, again. You guys have been great. Uh, do I live with my parents? Um, no. I, my, my dad passed away, and I don't know where my mom is, so. Mom, if you're watching, hi! Um, yeah, no, I don't, I don't live with my parents. I live by myself with my, my grandma, but she's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, Beans, I think it's time to say goodbye. Is it time to say goodbye, Beans? Um, again, you guys have been great. Um, Beans is funny. <laughs> uh, anyway. You guys have been great. Say bye, Beans. Um, Beans on toast. Aww. That's cute. All right, Beans. Say hi to my grandma. Hi, say hi. Let the Wookiee Beans win. I know, right? She's so perfect. All right. Guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this. Um, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for my next YouTube videos that I put up. Again, I hit 2,000 subscribers today. I'm so super excited to announce that. Um, and like I said, let me know if there's anything that you guys want to uh see videos on when i do lives again uh thanks for watching um i'm gonna go ahead and end this bye